Hey guys, today we are back on the Musa again and we're going to be leveling from 1 to 50 in about 4 hours. I already recorded part of this video earlier, but there was an issue with some of the footage, so I have to re-record the first 3 grind spots. That being said, the grind spots will still be the same, and I will still be showing you the rotations that I like to run. But getting into the video here, keep in mind that my gear is already upgraded and I have XP buffs going. So I recommend that if you're going to be doing this grind spot, you have your gear up to plus 15 and these XP buffs. I have the Sealed Book of Combat, XP Elixirs, and Smooth Milk Teas. You can get Smooth Milk Teas and XP Elixirs pretty cheap from the marketplace. And Sealed Book of Combat is a Pearl Shop item, but don't worry, you can also use coupons you get in-game from events and leveling characters. For about the first six levels, just follow the Black Spirit quest. It should only take you about 10 minutes to hit level six, and then you're gonna come to the first grind spot, which is at the Altar of Aegis, and you'll need to be killing these Steel Imps from six to 14. Uh, I'll show you the spots on the map and the rotation that I like to run on each mob and then I'll transition to the next mob. The next mob is Moretti Plantation, and you will be killing these wheat field lookouts and scarecrows from level 14 to 18. This spot doesn't really have a rotation, but that's okay because you won't be here long, so I'll grind here for a second and then we will move on. The next grind spot will be at Castle Ruins, and you will be killing these Alrundi guys here from level 18 to level 22. This spot is pretty large, so you can probably find better rotation than the one that I am doing, but you won't be here long either, so it's up to you. I'll just show you the rotation here that I like inside the Castle Ruins themselves. The halfway point will be here at the Bloody Monastery. This spot is a little more popular than any of the previous spots, so you may have some issues with other people showing up here, which is why I recommend getting your gear to plus 15 or higher, so you can one-shot the enemies before anyone has a chance to hit them. Pretty much, 
what you're going to do here is just go counterclockwise, staying inside the monastery walls from level 22 to level 29. Next is the abandoned land just west of Calpheon. It's a refugee camp and you'll be slaughtering these poor refugees from about level 29 to level 38. Now this is a pretty good money spot so if you wanted to stay here a few extra levels that would be fine especially since the next spot is the spot that most people probably won't enjoy. At this point, the XP gain will have slowed down substantially, and here at Marnie's Lab is the grind spot that will take the most time to get through. From level 38 to level 44, you will be killing a mix of Chimera and these fat troll things. It's basically a really big figure 8 that I like to do here, so just follow along and we will be done with this location as quickly as possible.
Finally, one of the most popular spots in the game, Catfishman at Lake Kaya from 44 to level 50. The mobs here are so dense and so abundant that there is no need for a set rotation. Just run from one end to the other killing everything in between. But for the sake of consistency, I will show you my rotation here as well, and then we will be done. Well there you have it, 1 to 50, hopefully you got there in around 4 hours and it wasn't too much of a grind for you. I will be doing separate videos for level 50 to 55 grind and beyond, as well as gear progression and what you should be doing after level 50. If you would like to be notified when those videos go live, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and comment in the comment section below letting me know what kind of future content you would like to see on the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.